I don't think you can ever fully understand the power of uranium until you've been to Hiroshima in Japan. That city experienced the full force of the first atomic bomb, the first of two devices which ended the Second World War, but obliterated an entire city. For me, this drawing sums up the legacy of that terrible event. It was drawn by a survivor, an image of the dreadful things they saw. It's simply called weekly writhing, and I cannot think of a more vivid and harrowing depiction of the suffering caused on that day. For a while, it seemed like something good might come from the terrible power contained in uranium. If we could control and harness all that energy, we could use it to produce an almost limitless supply of low-carbon electricity. Uranium was even turned into a superhero in Captain Atom, one of my favourite childhood comic books. But that dream never quite came to fruition, as fear and dread of uranium's power overshadowed its productive potential. And once again, Japan found itself at the centre of the story of uranium. The nuclear meltdown at Fukushima has put a big question mark over the future of nuclear power. Whilst writing Seven Elements, I went to meet Hidehiko Yuzaki, the governor of Hiroshima, who is leading a renewed drive for a future without nuclear weapons. As we spoke about research papers and international treaties, he looked out over his city and deftly summed up how much is at stake. He simply said to me, these are people, not pieces of paper. 